Other elements of culture are ethnic background. It's important to understand the history of the people, um, where they come from, what's important to them, what their values are. It's important to understand the history of a country. One interesting example is that in 1879, uh, there was a War of the Pacific, during which Bolivia lost its access to the Pacific Ocean. Uh, that land was since taken over by, by Chile and Peru. Nevertheless, once a year, Bolivia has a day in which they celebrate the Day of the Sea, uh, which is a, a bit sad because on that day they tend to remember the fact that they lost their access to the ocean, yet it's very important to understand how important that is to the Bolivian people. It's important to understand geography. Uh, one perfect example is Chile. Uh, Chile is virtually an island in the world. It's isolated on the one side by an ocean, on the other side by the longest mountain range in the world, by the driest desert on the planet. And so it's important to, to respect that how important it is for them to have you come to their country. They, they appreciate the fact that you've gone so far because no one passes through Chile on their way to anywhere else. It is in essence an island unto itself. You have to understand the different concepts of time. Um, in Spanish, uh, there are three or four different ways of saying now. It's either ahora, which means more or less now. It's ahora mismo, which means really right now. Or ahorita, which means absolutely now. And if you're scheduling a meeting or you're scheduling a, um, a social event, it's appropriate, it's important for you to understand which interpretation of time is the one that is expected of you in a given situation. And then finally, greetings. Um, you have to understand whether it's appropriate to shake hands. You have to understand whether it's appropriate to kiss um, men or women, or both, and the number of kisses. Uh, for example, in Argentina, it's appropriate to have one kiss on the cheek. In uh, Spain, it's two kisses, and in Brazil, it's three. And so you simply have to learn these things other, in order to be accepted in the culture. Dress. We tend to dress more casually in the United States than, than business is conducted in other countries. And it's absolutely vital to, to respect their way of dress and to, to dress accordingly, to be taken seriously and to be treated with respect. And then finally, one item I, I really want to stress is that taxi drivers anywhere in the world are philosophers. And you should listen to them.